So welcome back again to our tutorial series on CMOS logic gates. So this time we will talk about two inputs based CMOS NOR logic. So as you can see right over here, you have two NMOS transistors connected in parallel. You have two PMOS transistors connected in series. Both of these transistor category have inputs A and B and one output called as Y. And because you use two types of transistor, NMOS and PMOS, they are called as complementary metal oxide semiconductor, that is CMOS technology. Obviously, you have a highest power supply VDD and the lowest power pin ground and from the central point you see the output of this circuit. Now let us see how this circuit will work and we will see the truth table and understand the concept of pull up and pull down network. So let me bring you to the truth table of this NOR logic. You have two inputs A and B. Therefore, there are four possible combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And accordingly, you have to understand what is the output logic. And accordingly, you would understand how the pull up and pull down network, whether they will be on or off. So let us apply 0, 0 first in these two transistors. So here you apply logic zero, you are apply logic zero that makes both NMOS transistor to be in the off state. Therefore, there is no connection from output to the lowest power supply trail that is ground. This path is open. However, you have zero zero at both the transistor making both the PMOS turned on. Therefore, there is a clear path from output to the VDD. In other words, we say output gets connected or pulled up to the highest power trail in the circuit, which is VDD, which is logic high. Therefore, for this combination of inputs, you see pull up network is turned on because it is going to pull the output to its level and pull down network is said to be turned off. And obviously output is logic high because it is connected to the highest power supply that is VDD and through this pull up network. How about the second condition A equal to zero and B equal to one. So when you have zero here and one here, this transistor is on, this transistor is off. Since this transistor is on, there is a path from output to the lowest power supply trail that is ground. In other words, we can say that output is being pulled down to the lowest power trail. However, when you have same input condition of zero one, the zero makes this transistor on, making it short. However, one here makes this transistor off, keeping it open circuit. So there is no way output can reach up or pulled up to the positive supply, highest supply here. So you see for this combination of input, pull up network is off, pull down network is on, which allows the output to get to the ground. That is the output level is zero. The third condition is one zero. One zero makes this transistor on, this transistor off, again having the output path connected to the ground through this transistor. However, one and zero here turns it on turns it off, therefore keeping this transistor open, no way output can reach to the highest power rail. Therefore, for this condition we see, output is again pulled down to the lowest power rail through the pull down network, which is turned on. However, pull up network is turned off. Final condition of one, one. So you have one here, you have one here, both NMOS transistors are on 
having the easy path from output to the lowest power trail that is ground. So this is your pull down network. How about one one here turns them off? Therefore, both are open circuit, no way output can reach to the highest power rail here. So therefore, final condition of one one having the output zero through the pull down network, which turns on and obviously pull off network remains off. So you can notice the very important point here in the CMOS logic of pull up network and the pull down network, at a time only one of the network is turned on and then other is turned off. So if, if here it is on, other is off, here it is off, other is on, and you can check the other conditions also. So that's the complementary logic. What if both are in the off state? If both pull down and pull networks are off state, it means all transistors are off. What would be the output? What if both pull up network and the pull down network are turned on at the same time? It means all of these four transistors are on. What would be the output in that case? If you know the answer, feel free to write that in the comment section and hope you found this model useful if you did so, share it with others for wider reach. Stay tuned for more engaging content like this. Till then, wish you happy learning. And don't forget to refer to our previous module of CMOS logic gates in which we have explained the behavior of CMOS inverter and CMOS NAND gate. There also we have talked about the pull up and the pull down concept. So. See you in the next model very soon.